In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of making a simple survey on a Pinea census. To start off, click on the plus icon at the bottom right corner of your dashboard. Now, select the first option to choose Simple Survey. For the purpose of this video, let's take the example of Yash who owns a cafe. He wants to make a simple survey for his customers. Step 1 is to name your survey. Great. Now choose your desired way of adding questions. You can add custom questions, upload a spreadsheet of your survey from your device, or you can simply import questions from the old surveys, drafts or templates you've made on the website. Let's add custom questions to Yasha's survey. Now on the right side of the screen, under the option settings, you can choose all basic details you require from the customers. Start off by choosing to allow or disallow someone from answering the survey multiple times. Then, choose if you want the customer to answer anonymously or after they enter basic details about themselves. You can simply select the boxes of the details you require. Let's ask Yash's customers for their name, email address and phone number. Next, we add filters. Filters are additional details you might require for a more comprehensive division and analysis of the data. Let's add gender, age and household status. You can also add custom filters. More about this feature can be learnt in the tutorial specifically for filters. After adding basic details and filters, click on the option to add a question. There are multiple types of questions that you can create. Multiple choice, single choice, image based, Textual, Rating, Reordering, and Matrix. To learn more about each type, head on to our tutorial on types of questions. Let's add a basic single choice question. Now write your desired question. You can also add an alert to the answers. Simply click on the big bell. Here you can see previously added contacts or add a new one. Let's select an existing contact. To receive an email, click on the add sign and to receive an SMS, click on the envelope symbol. Now click on next. Now click on the little bell next to the answers you want to be notified about. And done. You can learn more about the feature alerts from its dedicated video tutorial. Well, now simply click on add. All you need to do now is select save and preview. Voila! Your survey is made. You can now preview and work on it on the next screen. As you can see, there are many features visible at the right side of the screen. Let's go through them. First option is to share. You can share your survey via a shareable link, download a QR code, set an alphanumeric code or share widget. You can also share via collectors. Here, you can simply select existing or add new email IDs which will give your selected collectors an access to the survey. These collectors can then collect data personally from others via tablets, phones, etc. You can learn more about sharing and collection in their respective tutorials. Next up is rewards. Say Yash decides to give a discount coupon to every customer who fills the survey. He can simply add an existing reward or create a new one. Let's add an existing reward for this example. Great! Now simply sync your rewards. We will discuss more about rewards in a later tutorial. The next option is personalizing. Here, you can change background colors and images. You can alter the theme altogether to fit your need and to please your eye. For example, Yash can add a beautiful picture of his cafe as the background of his survey. It looks great. Now we go to the permissions. Grant the permission to take the survey on the basis of your need or simply select none from the options. We are almost there. Just click on set expiration. Type in a start date and an end date. You can also make the survey for an indefinite time period by checking this box. Lastly, allow or disallow the adding of comments to your survey. That is it. 
click on publish and share your survey with everyone. You can see real-time analytics as soon as the votes start coming in.